Hello guys, my name is Lilia and I'm an English addict. I teach English in Kiev, Ukraine and today I really wanted to talk to you about what mistakes Russian speakers make when speaking English. So there are lots of common mistakes that we tend to make and for you, so that you try to avoid those mistakes, I really wanted to film this video, so off we go. Here's the first one and it's all about pronunciation. It's saying hotel instead of saying hotel. So many people say hotel here and that's partially about the song Hotel California which everybody knows because there are lots of rock fans here in Ukraine. But what we really need to say is hotel so we put the stress into the second syllable and this will be the correct pronunciation of this word. So make sure you say hotel, not hotel. A lot of mistakes originate from the direct translation from Russian into English when we speak in English. And so this one is probably the most embarrassing one and you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about feeling myself. How are you feeling yourself today? Are you feeling yourself good? I'm feeling myself great today. But is that correct? No. We're translating from Russian but this construction in English means a very embarrassing thing. To feel yourself in English means to touch yourself in a sexual context and not something I think you're trying to say, not the meaning you're trying to convey when you say this phrase. So make sure you say just feel. In most cases, when you want to say I feel myself, what you need to say is really feel. Just feel, I feel good, I feel confident, I feel very happy, I'm feeling great today. That's what you need to say. Alrighty, so what are you going to say if you're going to the cinema with your friend tonight? What will you say? How will you describe that? A lot of Russian speakers would instinctively say um, we with my friends are going to the cinema tonight which is not right. What you need to say is my friend and I, my friends and myself, me and my friend but not we with my friend which is again the direct translation from Russian which doesn't work in English. With this example, and I'm really going to go very cultural here, I'm going to talk about Trayeshina, which is a residential area in Kiev. It's very good, it's very quiet, but there are lots of crime and transport is not very good in the mornings and in the evenings. So I'm going to make an example using Trayeshina with it. So most uh, of native Trayeshians would say, um, from one side, it's very convenient and comfortable to live in Trayeshina, but from the other side, transport might be good and uh, might have some problems with crime. Okay, here is the situation where you've got to forget about the direct Russian translation and remember your hands. What you need to say is, on, one, on the one hand, uh, Trayeshina is a great place to live. On the other hand, um, I think that I I can't get to other places or in the city uh, as, uh, as quickly as I want to. So here is what you need to say. On one hand, on the other hand, but not from one side and from the other side. Comfortable and convenient, which I've said in the example before, is the other question which we're going to talk about uh, in one of my new videos. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see me do that. It's the middle of the spring now and it's getting warmer, although it's not very warm on the street now, it's very cold today, but um, anyway it's getting warmer and a lot of people go to the countryside, they go to make a shashlik, they go to the parks in forests and they making a barbecue, they go into their duchess and what they're saying is, I'm going to the nature, where are you going? I'm going to the, na to the nature, where were you last weekend? The last weekend I was at the nature which is not correct and again it's the direct translation from Russian. What we need to say is the countryside. I went to the countryside, where you going to? I'm going to the countryside and that's it. That's what we need to say. Not to the nature but to the countryside. As for me, I don't know where that originates but people just say it all the time. When they want to express their opinions they say as for me. Although what they really need to say is in my opinion or I think personally I think or something like that, what I think is but not as for me. Doesn't sound right. Just believe me guys, doesn't sound right. I really want to say that uh, not only are mistakes caused by direct translation from Russian when we're speaking English, but they might be also caused by problems in communication, a reaction to the statements that other people make. And so one of those mistakes I really wanted to illustrate by a video clip, which I'm going to be throwing in just right after I finish speaking. I'm 
Um, can you pass me this screwdriver? Thank you. Please. Yeah, so saying please after someone said thank you is a very classic one because in Russian we react in this way when someone's saying thank you to us. What you need to say in English is um, you're welcome or no problem, which is a more common one. So, but not please guys. Don't beat the Russian when you speak English. This is a different language. It has different rules. When we speak in English, let's speak English and not transfer something that we've got in Russian to the language that we're speaking. That would be incorrect. Another problem is connected with saying I'm sorry and excuse me in the wrong context. So let's watch a little video clip. I'm sorry, can you pass me the chips please? We need to say I'm sorry when you've done something wrong, when you've stepped on somebody's toes or you've just, uh, you've just said something rude to a person and really need, feel the need to apologise. But uh, what you really need to say if you want to ask for time or you want to ask somebody for a favour, you need to say, um, excuse me. Especially if you're introducing a statement and you've just met that person. So what you need to say is not, um, I'm sorry, but excuse me. However, excuse me might have a different meaning. You're a lazy drunk Excuse me? So if you, want, if you want to say excuse me with this kind of face, excuse me. You need to lift your eyebrow, which I can't do, but if you can do that, that's a great way. Uh, so, yeah, that's how you can do it. And here's the one little thing that only native Russian speakers will understand. Do you want some more tea? Yes, no, maybe. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you really want to see more videos on it. And thanks not a lot for your time, thanks for watching. I got some great response uh, for my last videos after I've made them and it was just fantastic to hear some great comments from you guys. This is all great support just in my modest beginnings in what I'm doing. So thanks a lot, please subscribe, I love you all, bye bye!